Hi and thanks for tuning into Level Master once again. We're here today to show you how to get the correct height when doing stump replacement. So let's just uh, have a look how to do that. Now first of all we're going to measure uh, our first stump. This one here we've numbered as number two. Now it's very important to measure off the underside of the bearer and you'll see Lockie is actually doing that not from the um, underside of the weatherboard. So Lockie, what's the measurement there? 810 mil. 810 mil for stump number two. So we're just making a note of what that is. We'll go over to our next stump. Which is stump number three. Very important to number the stumps so we get them each correct for their replacement. Underside of the bearer again. And Lockie, stump number three is? 780 mil. 780 mil. So we're making a note of what that is. And now you just need to repeat that process for each one of the stumps. Now, in this application here, you'll see that these stumps are actually in the ground. So your complete measurement needs to allow for the depth into the ground. And typically that's going to be around 450 millimetres. But please do check with the local soil conditions and the engineering that's been specified for your application. And uh, that's how to measure a stump height. We'll come back shortly and show you how to install the stump. Right, here we are back at our building site, uh, back with our post number two and post number three. Uh, this variation we're showing you is where we're going to put the post actually into the ground. So when we've calculated our measurements from the, uh, the height from the underside of the bearer to the ground, we've added an additional 450 millimetres in this case. So let's just go and uh, have a look at the top of the post. And the way that we've installed these, we've screwed them to an adjustment of about 30 millimetres um, out off the top of the post. This is gonna give us some adjustment down as well as some adjustment up. In highly reactive soils, we certainly recommend that this screw adjustment be up around the 60 millimetre mark to allow for further adjustment down as well as up. Uh, in this example here, we've still got about 100 mils of thread remaining down in the post for adjustment at a later date. Uh, if we move down to the, the base, we'll see that this is a concrete inversion um, and it's designed to provide some adhesion into the post. Here's post number three. It's ready to go in, so the hard work is ahead of us to dig these uh, post number two and post number three out. We'll be back in a moment to show you the lockdown version. Alright, here we're back with our two versions of bolt down posts this time for post number two and post number three. We'll just go in and have a look at uh, a bit closer at post number two. You can see that it has a, um, a different base. Uh, this time the post is cut to the correct length. And in this case, we're going to dig post number two out and replace it with a concrete pad top of that pad will bolt this post. Uh, you can see that we've uh, made the same height adjustment. This one is 30 mil up. Again, remember 60 mil if you're into a highly reactive soil. Uh, same with post number three over here. It's cut to length, ready to go. Uh, just the work is ahead of us in digging the, the post out in this case and replacing it with a pad. 